Hey, thanks for joining me for a, another beer review. <laughs> this time we have Shoom from Sabato. Sabato? Sabata? No. Sabato. Yeah, Sabato. Fucking reading in words. Matt Grecky, the face and head of Sabato, has been cuckoo brewing. Uh, in fact, this was brewed at Squawk uh, in Manchester. Again, if you're not aware of Squawk, definitely check them out. Some of Manchester's finest. I think before we start, let's get involved on this artwork. I think this is great, nice and catchy. Uh, hard as fuck to read that that says Shoom. Um, but most words are hard as fuck to read for me. Yeah, it's got a weird kind of like dystopian watchman kind of vibe to it obviously like a smiley face i suppose that's more synonymous with like rave acid culture whatever but i just think watchman um it's been a nice dirty glass for you all yeah uh, tom clean your glasses I, I fucking do the problem is like when they just sat up in the cupboard and Gathering dust up there. This is the only time I'll drink out of a glass. I'm gonna have to pour it out for you guys. I'm gonna just drink out of the can, you know. Environmentally friendly. Lovely, hazy glow. Chin chin. Nice. Oh yeah. Real kind of classic pale ale, even though it looks quite hazy, it's not that it's not got that kind of hazy pale ale juice that you'd expect. Um, much more kind of softer malt, uh, kind of hop bitterness combination going on really well. Uh, like the, the, the bit, the hop bitterness isn't like your standard, it's it's kind of got more of a almost smoky tobacco kind of vibe to it. So I just thought, I'll see what hops we're working with. And it's an interesting choice of hops. Uh, I really appreciate the fact that it's actually on the can because I hate it when it's not there. It's always nice to know. Uh, so we've got Chinook, Brambling Cross and Apollo. I'm guessing the main aroma I'm getting out of that dankness. Certainly the Chinook. Kind of a little fruitiness. Possibly coming from the Brambling Cross because it's much more of that kind of uh, little bramble fruit. Um, guessing the bitterness is all from the Apollo, really. Little bits from the other two, obviously. But yeah, flavour wise, real soft, gentle, like on the mouthfeel. Not not heavily carbonated, but like I say, that that bitterness that lasts throughout kind of finishes towards more like a. Yeah, it's like this kind of tobacco-y aftertaste. Great, really nice. I'll give this a solid three Rosses. And um, yeah, get it. No! Uh, yeah, quick finish, post-credit, like Marvel kind of bullshit, wait till the ending, story divisive, change up the pace. Uh, unfortunately, the more I drank that pale, the more I realized that tobacco flavor I was possibly burnt elements uh, in the kettle. Um, maybe like kind of molten sugars and hops kind of sticking to them and giving it that kind of burnt tobacco flavor. Initially it was pretty pleasant. Throughout it wasn't too bad of a uh, flavor, but when I kind of came to that conclusion, I kind of psyched myself out. Uh, yeah, in all honesty. Still, three Rosses out of five. Peace.